Amelio, your Beanie Beanie number one, proudly representing Cavite. As most of you don't know, I'm actually very, very passionate about cooking. I also have a cooking Instagram called at Wifey Worthy Meals. And so if you can, please go follow it and give those recipes some love and some likes. I usually post a lot of healthy recipes. A lot of them are keto based as well. And so today I will be showing you one of my favorite, favorite recipes. It's called white cod topped with a white wine reduction sauce. While I'm doing that, I will be talking about my beanie beanie journey as well and why I chose to join this year. Our ingredients include white fish, a lot of garlic, some chili pepper, lemon, butter, olive oil, basil, and of course you can't forget your super super dry white wine. First I already put some olive oil on the pan. Put heaping amounts of garlic and you're also going to immediately want to add your cherry tomatoes. You're just going to leave that on medium heat for 10 minutes. I discovered my passion with cooking when I moved to the US. For college, I actually moved back to the Philippines just last July, and that's when I decided to join Beanie Beanie Filipinas. Next, you wanna sprinkle some pepper and mix it again. And again, leave that on medium heat for two to five minutes. See, it's very, very spicy, and that's the flavor that we want from these tomatoes. Okay, so the tomatoes seem ready. So the next step is where we put the dried white wine in the sauce. You want to put one cup of white wine. You're gonna leave it there for around three minutes and you're gonna put it on a much higher heat. You're gonna put it on medium to high heat just so that the wine reduces. You're also gonna wanna add fresh basil. The flavor that we're going for here is gonna be very citrusy. You want it to be potent, but at the same time, um, very sweet as well and some spice. This dish has a lot of a lot of flavor to it and again it's very healthy it's just white fish and a lot of herbs. You're also going to want to put butter in there around three tablespoons so that it gives it that extra flavor too as the wine reduces and you're going to wait another five to seven minutes. Just a little fun fact, during this quarantine, which I hope everyone is okay and being safe with your families back home, and I actually was able to turn my passion, my cooking, into something good and something that gave back to the community. And so I helped the, um, this donation drive is called COVID-19 Food Drive PH. We basically would cook 100 meals each and send them to this restaurant in Makati. And from there, we would meet with the Philippine Army and then they would distribute the meals to different barangays and municipalities in Manila. Again, I want to thank everyone in that organization. Okay, so back to the cooking. So as you can see, we're almost done with the sauce. Half of the liquid is almost gone. We're just going to let it simmer for a bit. And as we do that, we're going to move on to cooking the fish. I seasoned it with thyme and olive oil. Make sure that it is on high heat. Also be careful with the oil because it's so much on my unit. Okay, so you're gonna leave it on one side for two minutes each and you should be good to go. Okay, and so once you're done with the fish, you can now pour your sauce on top of it. Make sure you get all the tomatoes the white wine reduction. Here is the finished product. Again, that is white fish with tomatoes, garlic, basil, and lots and lots of spices. And so let's give it a try. Pero no forgot to now, but let's give it another try. So I would recommend eating it with rice because you know that the Pinoy always have rice in the food. So this is actually the best combo that I can think of at the moment. But if you have any suggestions, please let me know. So one thing that I learned about myself during this Beanie Beanie journey is how to be more of myself. Moving to a different country for a while and you know having to be there on your own was quite difficult for me. But again, it pushed really pushed me um, out of my comfort zone and pushed me to be my best self because I had to take care of myself. It was a very fulfilling experience overall. But joining Beanie Beanie has even pushed me even harder to be myself and you know, wala nang, wala nang dito because the best way to really, to really evolve is to accept who you are and um, to really take that into heart. Some fun facts about me too is that I was actually on the Ellen show 
and I made it to the semi-finalists. And so it was really fun. I had a malaking wedding gown that was, I was just running through there and catching all these cakes after that round. Um, again, I hugged Ellen, super fangirling because of that. And I made it to the semifinals where she asked us different questions. I did not get that question and because of that, she had to shoot me down. So yes, but overall, that was um, one of the most amazing experiences I've had. Another one is that I actually love to fire dance. I learned this from my brother. It's such a cool flow of your body and you really practice coordination um, with every limb that you have. That's another hobby that I like to do. Here's my puppy lady. She's a Samoyed and it's actually her birthday today. So she just turned one. Makai <laughs> Kasumana. Bini Bini And just another fun fact, this is actually my first pageant ever. Um, and it's been really a, it's been really fun so far. Um, I never expected pageantry to be like this, you know. I mean, yes, of course, it's tough. Um, there are a lot of hurdles to go through, but at the same time, it's very fulfilling. Um, throughout the process, you really get to know who you are. Um, you get to make a lot of friends, and you know, there's just a lot of opportunities and doors that are open for you along the way. And so this has just been such an amazing journey. So there we have it. I hope that you guys get to try this recipe soon. Again, you can follow my cooking channel on Instagram. It's called at wifeyworthymeals and you can find their healthy recipes. A lot of them are keto based and I will be posting this recipe later today as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. And again, I please encourage everyone to step out of their comfort zone, especially this, during this quarantine period. Use your time wisely and find something that you're passionate about.